Hello YouTube, it's John Mark with Everblade Lawn Service here. We're actually fixing to do a review on our Grasshopper 400D. It's a 2019 model. Um, it's got a 1.3 liter diesel, three cylinder diesel. Anyway, all right guys, as you can see, I've got it lifted up so you can see underneath the deck too. And we're gonna start off with the hours on this mower. eight hundred and eighty seven point nine I believe eight hundred and eighty seven point nine is what I have almost eighty eight real close to eighty eight that's a decent amount of hours on a mower the thing I love about grasshopper is the reliability of these machines I have replaced very little on this mower I just actually just now today replaced a anti-scout wheel which is right here the last one was was gone pretty much uh, $12 part nothing to it you know you just take your bolt off and Put it back through it, put your nut on and all that. Nothing major. Uh, 887 hours. I have never changed deck belt on this mower. This mower has got 887 hours on it and I never changed a deck belt. And I've heard of the other people actually changing deck belts within like 40 hours, their belt breaks, which there is some wear on this belt. You can tell it's worn, but I mean, I'm gonna run it until it breaks. I may have to tighten it up some, but right now it's, it's pretty good. But, um, other than that, a scout wheel, I mean, air filters, yeah, I got to do that every once in a while. Um, you know, just replace those. I blow them out as much as I can. But other than that, I mean, 887 hours on the mower. And this is what the deck looks like. which there's no rust, there's some, there's some uh, grass and dirt under here, but I'm cleaning most of it out. Nothing built up, nothing major I need to clean out really. And also these baffles were extra. We added those baffles to, mainly during the uh, leaf season, it keeps a lot of airflow. I've noticed on Almost every mower I've ever ran, there's always airflow to the front right. Like if you're trying to mulch up leaves, there'll be a bunch of air to the front right. Air's gotta go somewhere, but these baffles minimize that big time. Real big time. And the only time we actually put them on is during leaf season. Mainly when we're mulching leaves up and stuff because it, it helps a lot. Because you're already fighting the wind as it is. But anyways, back to the mower. Other than the replacing that scalp wheel, and I do replace now, I have replaced the bearings in these one time, these wheels, both wheels. But in the spring, if I decide to put my wheels back on the front, I'll put my wheels back on the back for sure. But if I decide to do that, then the, there won't be no, there's no bearings in the wheels. So I won't have to worry about that. But these are, these are actually no flats, so no air goes in them, which is kind of a little bit rougher ride, but um, it's worth it and just not have to worry about air because I don't like having to do maintenance. I try to minimize maintenance as much as humanly possible. So if I can get something that minimizes my maintenance more, then I will. 
and we're running just the regular tires right now which the twills will be put back on in the springtime I've said it in past videos, I believe, that we, we take them off to uh, put our bagging systems on, which is not on right now, but when we do have to put them back on this following week, then, you know, they'll already be on. I ain't got to change out tires, you know, that's less maintenance. So, I mean, other than that, this mower is an awesome machine, though. It's an awesome machine. All right, yeah, it's an awesome machine. I just let the mower down. But it's got, it does the, it does it for me. It does everything I need it to do. And the main thing I need it to do is do the job day in and day out. And we did upgrade the seat. This is an upgraded seat, a grammar seat, which you can you can get an upgraded seat, which they're pretty nice. But if you're gonna be mowing a lot, obviously I'm looking at comfort. Uh, have the most comfortable ride as humanly possible. And once the twills are put back on it, we'll be a lot more comfortable. Um, and I guess that's about it. Um, but I do love this machine. And we also have the 52 also, which I've got a decent amount of hours on it. But this machine right here has been awesome. Like I said, it's a 2019 model. Very little problems. So if you're looking for something reliable, you may not have to get a diesel. You may just get a, you know, have a residential yard or something, but get you a, you know, look into your local dealer and see if uh, they carry Grasshopper. And if they do, look at the, like the 100 V series or something. You don't have to get something real big or nothing, but uh, that's what I started. I start, actually started out when I bought my first Grasshopper on a Grasshopper 124. And uh, it was an awesome machine. Same thing, very little problems very very little very very little problems but anyway guys y'all have a good one and we'll catch you on the next one